today on the Sony Ridge Farm Channel. We're drilling a well, baby. Woo! <laughs> Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. It's really loud here today. On the Stony Ridge Farm today, we're gonna be drilling an agricultural well right here beside the mega shop. If you've never been here before, welcome to the channel. Hit that like button, sit down, relax, and enjoy the ride. We're gonna tell you what it's like to drill a well on your property. Hope you enjoy. All right, folks, as you can tell, this is a monstrous piece of equipment right here. It's a specialized piece of equipment and it takes a specialized operator with experience to run this safely. It's called a drilling rig truck and each one of these posts or rods that you see that are drilling go down into the ground about 20 feet. Now you see these guys putting this white pipe in. This is a Schedule 80 PVC well casing and this well casing goes down into the well till they hit bedrock and in this case they hit bedrock at about 30 feet so you can see they dropped one of the casings in glued the next casing to it and then cut off the top of the other casing this will be where we house our bison pump and also where our sump pump will go down into the well for pumping water out of this agricultural well now, if you're considering drilling a well for human consumption, there are certain permit processes that you'll have to go through. So you'll have to check with your local municipality to see what that process might be for you. We're drilling an agricultural well here. Now, what's the difference in an agricultural well versus a well for human consumption? The difference is one of them is inspected and the other one isn't. This well is going to be identical to a well for human consumption. Now the goal is five to 10 gallons per minute and the deeper we drill, the more it costs. So it's by the foot as they drill deeper and deeper into the ground. Hope you guys are enjoying this content. Be sure you stay tuned to the end and we'll tell you exactly how much water we got, exactly how deep we went and exactly what the cost is out of pocket for this well setup.
all the water you see here is my water. Coming out of this well, it's clear and clean. America, baby. Guys, they're out there drilling the well right now. It is so stinking loud that I can't talk at all while we're drilling. So we're gonna let these guys work. They've been here for about three hours yesterday and it started raining. We got rained out. They came back this morning and they've been here for about three more hours. We are going deep. So currently we're at about 280 feet and I anticipate going 350 feet plus. Our goal is to get five to 10 gallons per minute out of this well. This again is an agricultural well. Check with your local municipality on drilling wells for your own property. If you've got a rural property or if you're drilling a well for your animals, for your livestock, check with your local codes and what you need to do to drill your own well. Let's get busy watching them. This is gonna be a cool time lapse. All right, guys, we have hit our five gallon a minute plus mark. So we're pretty much between five and seven gallons per minute on this well right now. So we're gonna go ahead and start pulling the rig out. Whew. It's gonna be a pricey one. Guys, this is Patrick. Patrick is with Carolina, Virginia Pump and Well, or Well and Pump, what is it? Well and Pump. All right, and we drilled how deep today? 465 feet, five gallons a minute. Five gallons a minute, 400. Yeah. Is that enough water for the average home? Now, I know this is gonna be an agricultural well, so we'll be doing a little bit of irrigating with it. We'll be doing a little bit of cattle watering with it. We'll be washing stuff off, pressure washing uh, equipment and stuff like that. So you tell me. Is it uh, enough water? It is, okay. we'll make it work. All right, now you got a meter in here. What's that meter? Tell me what you got here. This is to check the static water level. Okay. To see what a water level will come up to so we can get everything sized up like we need to. Okay, and this is from Eno Scientific. All right guys, so we're gonna see how good the well performed Later on, we're gonna see where the static water level is right now. And the reason we need to know where the static water level is, Patrick can explain a little bit, but we've got a bison pump going in. The bison pump is a stainless steel hand pump, so we never have to rely on electricity to run our well. We can always have a water source for our animals. Now, what does the static water mean? Is that how far the water comes from the top of the ground down to the top of the water. Okay, so from ground level down yeah. to the top of the water, it's this just, is where it's gonna sit. Right, and that's where your water level is gonna be in the well. Will that fluctuate from, from summertime to wintertime, or is that pretty steady? It, it should stay steady. Okay, gotcha. Unless so. you're using the water, then it's gonna go up and down. And we've done this on other wells. So we have two wells on the farm and the static water level on the other well was 26 feet and the other one down here was around 26 feet too. So I, I would anticipate it'd be pretty close to the same. It should be pretty close. Let's go see We're what it does. Find out. Yeah. So Patrick, tell us what you're doing. You got a, there's a plate on this well right yep. here. What's that plate it, say? Tell me. It identifies everything on the well. The, okay. The, gallons per minute. The depth. Depth. The gallons per minute, the casing depth. Okay, gotcha. And this is something that we will hang on to with our <laughs> uh, for dear life, right? Let's see. Yeah, it'll be stamped to the actual to the well. casing. Okay, gotcha. So 428, 23, 465 feet, and static water level is what we're getting ready to find. Yeah. So, all right, guys, we'll probably hear a little think, think. Is that right? Sure. Another way you could do this is just to drop a rock down the well, right? You can. And listen to it. 26 feet. Boom! Right there. 26 feet and the probe temp is 69, 70 degrees. Mm -hmm. Listen guys, you can hear it thump. 
Cool. Right on. They don't like the other ones. Now, while we're down here, mm -hmm. while I got you hanging over mm -hmm. the well and I could push you in, <laughs> um, what's what's a typical charge per foot to drill a well like this? Uh, right now you're getting twenty-two dollars a foot gotcha. for drilling. Okay. And typically, a uh, well in a pump system now is anywhere from eighteen to twenty-five thousand. Eighteen to twenty-five grand. Yeah, for everything. To drill a well for everything. The well and the pump hooked up to the house. Five years ago, it was twelve grand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's crazy, man. Oh yeah. Well, uh, guys, Patrick did a fine job. Your employees did a fine job. They always do great. This is the third well that we have here on the farm, and I anticipate another well on the other side of the farm when we get ready to build our farm stay cabin. So maybe I can hold you to the $12,000. <laughs> <laughs> we'll <Nope>. see. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate you coming out, doing this for me. Left-handed no shakes a little bit weird sometimes. <laughs> guys, if you have any questions, please post them down there. This was a pretty simple process. The guys were out here digging for what eight hours something, something like that yeah. seven to eight hours yeah. uh the well pump truck that you have what, what's the cost of that thing a uh, new one what would a new brand one? new one's around 1.5 1. 1. 1.6 million that's why it costs so much to have a well drill guys plus you got to have the right people to do it so you guys grouted around this it's mm -hmm. all sealed off it won't yep. get groundwater in it and we're getting ready to pour concrete out here on all this so all this will be concreted and we'll have our outdoor kitchen right over here guys Thanks a lot for joining me, for watching the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. We really appreciate you. If you have any questions, post them down there. Me and Patrick will be watching the uh, <laughs> comment sections, or I'll be watching them, oh, yeah, <laughs> and I'll be texting will. Patrick and asking him questions. But if you have any questions, post them down there. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Ready? Woo! Woo! <laughs> Guys, take care. Thanks a lot. Come on.